Good afternoon, I'm Karen Larson. Here's the latest on the flooding emergency in northeastern Oklahoma. Prepare now, plan ahead for what may become the flood of record. That's the word of warning from Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum tonight. The Corps of Engineers also concerned about the threat of more rain, causing even more problems at area lakes. Tulsa River Parks now closed to visitors. The gathering place also closed, and Riverside Drive is shut down between 21st and 31st. Levees in West Tulsa and Sand Springs are of greatest concern, the Corps of Engineers say. They are holding but being tested at unprecedented levels and there are still several places where you can get sandbags in Tulsa. You can pick them up outside the maybe center near 81st and Lewis in Jenks. Get some at the softball field near 91st and Elm and at the White Hawk golf course in Bixby. The sandbags are free and given out first come first serve basis in Sepulpa. Neighbors there are still cleaning up damage from this weekend's EF1 tornado. Three men from Enid were among the volunteers who just showed up to spend their Memorial Day cutting up tree limbs at a disposal site. You can get rid of those downed trees at the parking lot near the heart of Route 66 Auto Museum and at the southeast corner of Hobson and Oak. And this is meteorologist Brandon Woolley here in the Two Works for You Weather Center. Look for increasing showers and storms by this evening, probably after 6 o'clock, with all modes of severe weather certainly possible, damaging gusty winds, hail, and maybe a few isolated tornadoes. Looks like that activity will exit eastern Oklahoma, I would say, after about 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. So, yes, more storms on the way with a tornado watch issued by the National Weather Service until 10 o'clock. Does not include Tulsa County county, but a flash flood watch all the way through Thursday morning. Karen. All right. Thank you, Brandon. Our two works for you. Weather and news teams are working around the clock. We're here to keep you informed on the flooding in green country. Be sure to join us at five and six for your evening news or check out online at kgrh.com and we'll bring you another, another update here at 630.